Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. This video is to show you how to set automatic send certificate to student who pass the examination. So you can see here will be the template, the example template. They will automatically generate the subject of the email, the sender name, the content as well, the body content of the email. And then this is the template certificate example. They will change the student name here and the date as well. Okay. This is the template example. They also have a setting to set separate like pass, passing the exam email and the fail exam email. So you can see the example here, the pass one, they were like subject we can edit, customize, and then the sender name, okay, the content we can customize as well. So this one is like passing the exam. So they will have an email together with the certificate. Okay, congratulation. Next, if you fail the win, you won't get any certificate. This one is the fail email, you fail the quiz one. That's why please try again. You don't have the certificate because you didn't pass the quiz. Okay, so let's start how to create this kind of automatic sign certificate. First, we need to create a Google form. Okay, as our quiz or as the exam. Okay, first you have, then you need to add on the certify them the add-on for you to do this automatic send email okay so you can download the certify them here you download it install and then you will have an add-on here so next you will you can click on the add-on here to click on the certify them you run it and then you enable the certify them and then here, here will automatically generate the template for you Okay, let's click on get started. They will automatically generate a quiz or exam template for you. Okay, wait for a while. Yeah, here is how it looks like. Then we can change the name like quiz. Let's say quiz 2. And then our e here will be the email to collect from the student. So this email is important because you need to send the result to the student or the certificate okay, or any notification. Okay, then the student full name. Okay, this one is like we can change this one to another like answer question and answer here say question one we have like few option say this one is the correct answer one then we can put the key point like 50 so we say yeah 50 not required sometimes students forget to answer some of the question Let's say this one will be like for answer. And your key point. Okay, and then this one also the 50. And press done. Double click again here will be the key point here, the correct. Yeah. Then required. Okay, after we set all the questions done here, we need to check about the certified them setting of the certified them. Here will be the certify is off, then we need to turn on it. When we turn on it, we will receive a notification that from the, our email that the certification is turned on. Okay, so once it's turned on, and then you can check the passing rate. So the passing rate, let's say we now just now have 50-50, right? Let's say we, have, we can click on 50. One of the question is correct, that means they will get the certificate because they, they passed the exam. And then the template, the template is the template of the certificate. So we can click on the preview. So we can check this one is like the example of the certificate uh, by the certified them here. So we can check, okay. Or we can use the customized one. We can click it and then we can like use the customize our custom template. Then we can select our own template. Let's say we want the quiz one template. Okay. Before we select our template, we need to edit something on our template certificate template because it's due to they have like some coding we need to set for the Excel file to read the merge tag here. So if you want to have a student name, we need to put like full name with the current bracket. If you want to have a date with this format, day, month, year, so we need to put the format like this. This one is 
change this one is like quiz two. Save it. Save it done for this. And then we go back to the form. We need to cancel it back and then choose again. Let's say our quiz two. Save it. Okay, so then now I think they will take change to quiz two. Yeah, here you can see your template it already changed to the quiz two certificate. And then the quota, the quota actually is like meaning that how many email remaining to send about in 24 hours. So every day you have actually like just 100 email that you can send out according to your Google type of Google account. It's okay. So, it, but they will refresh every 24 hours. So it's depend on your Google account, type of Google account, how many quota you have. Then if you want to set like the passing and the fail exam different email, you can choose in advance. Then here you like the default one. Okay, if you want to choose like that custom email option that you can type on the sender name like Mr. Lee. And then the email you can subject of the email. Let's say I have some info here. We can use like congress you pass the email. quiz quiz two. And this is your body content. Congress and then the full name must have like current backend. Okay, they will automatically detect the name. You have passed the you pass the quiz and then the certificate is attached to the email. Okay, if you want to have a fail exam, the email sent to attempt to the fail exam, you can click on this. Then you can click on here. You can type your own email subject. Then, so this is a so this is the content, the body content of the email. Yeah, remember to send as PDF the certificate and then via email. Okay, so done. Then you can save it. Okay, so everything is set. So you can check off the certificate record as well. This one is the Excel file. Okay, from the spreadsheet. So you can see like the timestamp, email, full name, and then the question, total score, and then pass or fail. Okay, then we will try to test this quiz two form by as a user. And click on preview. Okay, let's say we have a key in our email, our full name. Let's say we do a correct answer. Then we can like send me a copy of response. Yeah. Okay, so we have submitted our quiz two. Then we can check on the record. So you can see here it's like the email that we key in and then the full name, the student full name and then the passing score and then true. If true, then they will send the certificate. This is a certificate, uh, the first certificate. And then you can check your email. Okay, so you have received the certificate. So this student have passed the quiz two. So the subject title just now will be key in and the content body. So the name of the user, the student name here. Then you can check on the certificate, it's like the name, student name and the date of the exam. Okay, so let's try about the when the student is failed. Okay. Then this one is just now you key in the turn on certificate, certification. And then this one is like the Google form is filled in. Okay, let's try for when the student is failed. So try send email. Email and then the name of the user, you can try another name, then we click on the wrong answer, okay, then click submit. Yeah, then we can check in the Excel file as well, we can update it, then check it's like, so you can see the pop out the email here and then the, use, the student name and the score. So this one is false, that's why they didn't receive any certificate here, so we can check our email. Okay, we have received, you have, the student have received like you have failed the quiz. So when you fail the quiz, then you won't receive the certificate here. Okay, that's all for how to generate the automatic send certificate for the, to the student by their quiz. 
Okay, so the important here is uh, you can customize actually the merge tag here if you, want the, you need the title or the passing percentage they display on the student email. You can use the merge tag here okay, to show the passing rate like example 80% okay, and then the certificate ID as well, the 7 7DG seven serial number and the title of the file. So if you want to print the title of the file in your certificate, you can use this merge tag. That's all for this video, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and also remember to subscribe my channel.